Vitamin D is an important fat-soluble vitamin found in many different foods. It is important for muscle growth, regeneration, libido, and testosterone production. It is also classified as steroid or a hormone-like substance because it acts like a chemical messenger in some way. We can get vitamin D from the sun, it can be in its active or non-active form, and we can use it to support many different functions in our body. Today's biggest question is, can vitamin D increase testosterone levels, can it boost libido, and can it really significantly affect muscle growth? Well, let's find out. Vitamin D is an important fat-soluble vitamin and hormone-like substance which supports growth, development, and recovery. It plays multiple roles in metabolism, makes your bones and muscles stronger, and it may increase sex drive. Since many people are deficient in vitamin D, I decided to give it a try. I became a big fan. Especially in winter, with low sun exposure, I found vitamin D to speed up my regeneration, aid in muscle growth, and boost libido. I felt more vibrant, energetic, and stronger overall. Vitamin D, as other fat-soluble vitamins, can be stored in fat cells for later use. This means intermittent supplementation of a few months may be more optimal. I take mine 4-6 to six months a year, especially around winter times. Our skin acts as a gland in terms of vitamin D absorption or synthesis. Basically, whenever our skin gets exposed to UV rays of the sunlight, we can produce vitamin D. We fertilize pro-vitamin D3 to pre-vitamin D3. Now, I have glasses, but that doesn't mean I'm a chemist, so I won't blah 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 you with all the details. Basically, it just goes down to the conversion of 1.25 OH to D3 or whatever. It's about getting to the active form of vitamin D, which is calcitriol. However, we'll go through different factors which can affect our vitamin D levels in the body. Many factors affect our vitamin D levels, first being age, sex, and genetics, but also the thickness of our epidermis, duration and intensity of sun exposure, enzyme function and absorption, putting sunscreen or glasses on. Point is, most objective way to measure D3 levels is to do a blood test and not just assume you have enough. Vitamin D plays many different roles in the body and it's involved and has a ton of different functions from our immunity to reproductive health, muscle growth, development, etc. So here are the main ones. In terms of immunity, Vitamin D is important for supporting immunity, for modulating the innate and adaptive immune system and production of immune cells. In terms of bone health, it makes our bones and teeth strong. It is involved in the both bone anabolism and catabolism by stimulating the activity of osteoblasts and osteoclasts. Means bone resorption and bone anabolism or creation to keep our bones healthy and strong. For this, it also needs calcium and vitamin K2. Vitamin D also supports muscular regeneration, optimal strength recovery, it plays a role in neuromuscular function, it is important for strength performance, and also aids in protein synthesis in the muscle. In terms of reproductive health, vitamin D is crucial for creation of or synthesis of testosterone, progesterone, and estrogen, which are important hormones for libido, sex drive, but also reproductive health. Vitamin D plays a massive role for anabolism in the body, so creation of bigger molecules from smaller ones. This refers to building muscle, building strong bones. It also aids in regeneration, growth, and differentiation. Vitamin D on muscle growth, how can it help? So here's the thing, to build muscle you need to have some sort of resistance training, for example lift weights at an optimal rate, then have optimal recovery and have a relatively high protein diet. If you are in a caloric surplus and you lift weights and you have optimal recovery, etc, etc, you are most likely going to build muscle, but why would you add vitamin D into the equation, right? Vitamin D can support your muscle anabolism. Taking vitamin D on its own won't significantly increase your muscle mass, which I think it's logical to expect, but it can support muscle anabolism if you are deficient in vitamin D. Vitamin D can support muscle growth, anabolism, and regeneration. There are also different vitamin D receptors in our muscles, which throughout studies it is very complex to know exactly how these are working, but it has been known that activation of these vitamin D receptors in the muscle is related to muscular growth, anabolism, and increased strength. Vitamin D deficiency is also known to slow down muscle regeneration, growth, and anabolism, and usually people with vitamin D deficiencies are a bit weaker in terms of strength and may have lower muscle mass and bone density. Vitamin D also regulates different signaling pathways in the body that are related to muscle growth, muscle cell differentiation, and proliferation. Physical performance and vitamin D status are associated. 
Supplementation of vitamin D can reduce the risk of falls, improve muscle performance and also impact muscle morphology and composition in older adults. Research shows better neuromuscular function when supplementing with vitamin D in elderly people with low levels. Vitamin D was especially important for lower body strength, improved physical performance and reduced walking sway. In terms of regeneration, vitamin D may aid in renewal capacity and improve muscle regeneration. Vitamin D receptor has an essential role in mitochondrial function and muscle recovery. The potential effects include improving oxidative capacity and reducing oxidative stress. Vitamin D on testosterone. Now, if you don't know, testosterone is a very, very popular hormone against weightlifters and it is sort of related to higher libido but also to muscle gains and strength too. So how does vitamin D play a role in testosterone production? Well, testosterone, first of all, 95% of it is produced in the testicles in men. Men usually have higher testosterone than women, but higher testosterone in women can also increase their sex drive too, contrary to popular beliefs. We basically have free-floating testosterone and we have bound testosterone. And there's total testosterone, which is the first one plus the second one. Testosterone is a hormone which is heavily associated with muscle strength, growth, metabolism and muscle mass. Testosterone plays an important role for production of sperm cells, red blood cells, for sex drive, growth, cell differentiation, etc. Many studies show that deficiency in vitamin D are associated to lower testosterone levels. In another study, 3,332 IUs of vitamin D was administrated daily for a year, which led to an increase in total free and bioactive testosterone levels again. Low vitamin D or hypovitaminosis are positively associated with androgen deficiency or low testosterone levels and usually this signals low anabolism and poor health status. So here's a quick conclusion. Vitamin D is a steroid-like hormone or a fat-soluble vitamin. You can classify it however you want it because it has certain traits or characteristics from each side. But the important point is that it aids in muscle growth and regeneration. It is important for sex drive and libido and production of different hormones like testosterone. It is involved in bone metabolism. It supports our immunity. It improves energy production, etc. Many studies show that vitamin D supplementation may significantly improve lower body strength, it can improve uh, gait uh, speed, it can reduce walking sway, it can improve muscle quality, especially in an elderly population that is deficient in D3. Vitamin D3 as a precursor for many sex hormones, or reproductive health hormones, very important in sex drive, mood, satisfaction in both men and women too. Vitamin D was shown to elevate free, bound and total testosterone in overweight or vitamin D deficient population, but it had a minimal effect on healthy young humans which had normal vitamin D levels. That's around it for this video. I hope this helped you make your decision whether vitamin D is important and can it aid in muscle growth and testosterone production. As I've said before, I am taking mine four to six months yearly and it's usually in the winter years and I have felt some effects on increased energy, uh, muscle anabolism and supported immunity. See it for yourself. I hope this research may have helped you clarify a little bit of that dilemma whether it's significant or not and it can help you make a decision whether you want to incorporate a little bit more of vitamin d and supplement with it or you can get it enough through sun and food depending on where you live thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more and please don't hesitate to hit the like button it actually makes crazy progress on youtube when you hit that like button like these videos go around and many people can see this video and can help them out too. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Hit the like button. Maybe subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Look at that oily structure inside. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Would you like some?